हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यूजफुल टिप्स इन यूट्यूब टू टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ट्रिगर्स यस ट्रिगर्स इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन इन एवरी इंटरव्यू इन एवरी इंटरव्यूज टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज ट्रिगर एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रिगर सो मेनी सो मेनी ऑफ माय माय फ्रेंड्स आस्क टू मी टू मेक ए वीडियो अबाउट द ट्रिगर्स that's why today i discussed about the triggers okay friends triggers triggers here triggers first of all what is a trigger and when it fights triggers trigger fights t r i triggers fights whenever whenever uh, one of the followings one of the one of the following operations here mm here first option is dml statements dm l whenever dml statements means whenever dml statements uh whenever dml statements automatically invoke trigger fights whenever dml statements is occurs and number 2 is tdl statements tdl statements number 3 is number 3 is database events database database events such as such as log on log on log off like this whenever dml statements is invoked against the table at the time at the time uh, trigger fights whenever ddl statements whenever database events these uh, those things uh, after that uh, trigger will be automatically invoked automatically invoked here d here dml statements whenever dml statements is Uh, so, uh whenever dml statements is placed at the time and trigger fights automatically again as a table or view here ddl statements ddl statements means create create table here D, uh, ddl means create table alt table all of you know that uh, as well as the dml statements means update insert delete these statements are uh, whenever these statements is occurs trigger uh, triggers will automatically invoked uh, against the table or view uh, again ddl statements means create table alter drop uh, truncate rename all those things all of you know that uh, this uh, this statements are belongs to ddl statements whenever ddl statements is occurs uh, trigger uh, trigger fights automatically in, uh, automatically invoked in the to the against to the table or view this whenever uh, whenever dml statements ddl statements database events such as log on log off this uh, log on log off um, this uh, occurs triggers will automatically invoked again as a table friends um, this is when uh, this uh, trigger fights uh, trigger fights automatically uh, Uh, trigger fights one of the following operations next coming to how triggers are used this is a very important question how triggers are used this is also very very important question 
mm, in triggers how means uh, there are few there are few uh, uh, first of all we will we will prevent the invalid transaction p r e v prevent invalid invalid transaction after that uh, um, enforce complex uh, security authorizations enforce complex complex security authorizations complex security after that um, mm, enforce referential integrity enforce referential integrity in integrity referential integrity after that uh, mm, uh, modify data table modify table modify table data when dml statements dml dml statements are issued or whatever it is are issued again is the again is the view this is also one reason how triggers are used it means first of all prevent invalid transaction <laughs> for suppose we have to we have to we have to restrict any transaction on saturday and sunday at the time we will use triggers enforce complex security business rules at the time we will use triggers Enf enforce uh, enforce uh, referential integrity all of you know that what is referential integrity if anybody you could know the what is referential integrity i will make the video in future what is referential integrity how to overcome the referential integrity how many ways to overcome the referential integrity all those things i will make uh, a video in future after that uh, um, how triggers are used is uh, modify table table data when dml statements are issued against the view or uh, table or view normally we cannot uh, we cannot use dml statements on complex views complex views complex views means uh, view derived from one or more tables uh, one or more tables at the time it is known as a complex view uh, uh, if it is a simple view then we will apply the uh, then we will apply the um, uh, dml statements uh, but but if uh, if you but if it is complex view then we will uh, we will we will cannot apply the dml statements that's why that's why triggers use it by using triggers by using triggers we can apply the dml statements uh, uh, on view and complex view friends um, that the type of trigger is uh, all of you know that uh, instead of trigger instead of trigger that is also one type of trigger by using instead of trigger we can apply the dml statements on complex view this is the this are the uh, this are the how triggers are used in in PLS skill programming after that parts of trigger next we will go to parts of trigger mm, mainly mainly trigger has four, uh, three parts mainly and trigger has uh, three 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 basic parts mm, 
mainly uh, three basic parts number one is uh, a triggering event okay triggering event or statement nothing but a statement uh, again second part is uh, a triggering a triggering restriction restriction a triggering restriction after that third part is uh, action a triggering action a triggering triggering action these are the three basic parts a triggering event or a statement triggering restriction a triggering action some of the interviews uh, some of interviews they will ask what is the uh, what are the uh, three basic parts in trigger at the time we will we will say like this a triggering event a triggering restriction a triggering action uh, these three parts are basic parts uh, in triggers after that uh, what is uh, after we will know that at least uh, uh at least few uh, few sentence about what is what is triggering event what is triggering restriction what is triggering action all those things first of all we, we will go to triggering event triggering event is a uh, triggering event is nothing but to uh, is nothing but one of the more followings i will say a uh, uh, before uh, before here dml statements ddl statements database events DML statements, DML DML statements, DDL DDL statements, uh, database events database events, these are the statements these are the statements we will write the triggering statement or triggering give it whatever it is this is the uh, this is the triggering event next we will go to uh, triggering restriction triggering restriction means it uh, it is uh, triggering restriction specifies as a boolean expression it is boolean expression it is boolean expression x p r e S S I O N Boolean expression means Boolean expression means that must be true for the trigger that must be true for the trigger to fight the to to fight the triggering action triggering action is not run if the triggering restriction uh, evaluates to false or unknown here uh, if uh, here, uh, here restriction is true or false whenever true whenever uh, it gives true then it will fight the action then then it will fight the action whenever uh, whenever it is uh, it uh, it is gives false it it does not fight the action simple friends uh, triggering restriction is the boolean expression all of you know that what is boolean boolean means it has true or false <coughs> true or false if if it gives true then trigger fights the uh, trigger fights the triggering action triggering action um, whatever you write the triggering action that will fire if the fire uh, if the boolean expression gives false it does not fire the triggering action it stops uh, it it stops the uh, triggering restriction it will go to it it will it will not go to triggering action means triggering body this is the press whatever this is the restriction then triggering action triggering action means body whatever you want uh, whatever you need to write PL skill statements contain SQL statements PL skill state statements whatever it is 
contain SQL SQL PL SQL statements PL SQL S T A T M E A T S contains SQL and PL SQL statements or uh, whatever it is wrote it will act, it will action means it will fire this is the three basic parts what number one first part is a triggering event or triggering statement second part is a triggering restriction third part means triggering action here here what uh, here what is actually ac actually happens is uh, in a, a triggering event or triggering statement means dm statements ddl statements database events all of you know that uh, what is dml statements what is ddl statements what is database events when uh, this is the statements will write in the triggering event after that triggering restriction means it is a boolean expression boolean all of you know that uh, boolean expression means it gives true or false true or false if the boolean expression gives true then trigger fights the trigger action if boolean boolean expression uh, gives false it does not go to go to the action because it gives false next triggering action triggering action means it contains SQL and PL SQL statements whatever we write in the uh, in the um, action that contains SQL and PL SQL statements this is the main body here the trigger fire uh, trigger fire um, again as the SQL and PL SQL statements this is the basic three parts next coming that next we will go to uh, types of triggers this is a very 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 important question friends types of types of triggers very very important question friends here basically there are two types of triggers number one is statement level trigger statement level T R A C G E R. statement level trigger number two is row level trigger This is the this is two types of triggers statement level trigger row level trigger next uh, next types of uh, of triggers i will discuss in the next video first of all we we know that what is statement level trigger what is row level trigger okay friends today i am discussing about what is uh, uh, what is triggers how triggers are used parts of trigger Mm, types of triggers in in my next video what is the types of triggers means what is statement level trigger what is row level trigger i will i will make a video next few days mm, please uh, encouraging me please uh, if you like this video like this video and share the video to your friends if it is useful for uh, uh, useful for job seekers who are searching in PLSQL. Okay, friends, thank you, thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel if you like these videos and further updates. Have a great day, thank you.